because I'm gonna be honest, like um, I've never been a pushover person, but A-Leaf gave me grit, right? It gave me that hard work. Hey guys, what's up? It's Shalana of Social Boss Empire. I am your favorite creative evolutionary based in Houston, Texas, from the West. Shout out to A-Leaf. Um, I own Social Boss Empire, which is a evolutionary agency providing digital marketing, superb media coverage, and online presence. Um, yeah, that's pretty much me. <laughs> Initially when I came into industry, right, um, people always said to me, oh yeah, you're the social media manager. You're the social media manager. Oh yeah, you do social media. And I'm like, ooh, that's cool. I can do social media in my sleep. I can grow your, pre your presence and your business online in my sleep, but it's like, I'm so much more than social media. Um, so I really had to sit down and, and not only assess how my messaging and things was coming off to people, but also the title that I allowed people to give me. I was not in um, the industry I am in now, um, initially. I was a speech therapist for a very long time. I went to school for a very long time to do it. But although it was great in everybody else's eyes, I really felt like my purpose wasn't being fulfilled. So um, it actually took me getting sick. Um, a lot of people don't know. Well, some people know. My, I feel like people who follow me and like interact with me know that I'm a dialysis patient. Um, so when I got diagnosed with kidney failure, I had to be on dialysis and it allowed me to sit still, right? And just really, really, I guess, absorb everything around me and create new things. So in the midst of sitting still, I'm not a stagnant person. Um, dialysis, a lot of people don't know, is three to four times a week, five hours at a time, you're hooked up to a machine. Um, I'm not used to being that still. I'm very much a busybody. So um, sitting there allowed me to not only, um, I've always been good at the internet, but it allowed me to tap into another side of the internet and really lay a solid foundation. I started off blogging and influencing, and then I ended up creating an agency. So that's the crazy part about 2022. This is a really, really evolutionary year. Um, I've always been behind the computer. I've always done the social media and people's digital marketing in the creative direction. I was big on creative direction um, and doing campaigns for others, but now I've tapped into more in the media side. I did what I could to get myself in a room in Fashion Week. I had already promised myself, so that's another thing. Um, I was very sick from January to about August. Um, I was in the hospital for four months. When I was in the hospital for two months in a nursing home for an additional two months, learning how to walk again, because I burned my leg like really, really bad, like a third degree burn. And um, in the midst of that time, already before that, I had already promised myself, I'm going to Fashion Week this year. Like I've been dreaming about it since a little girl. So um, I literally just made it happen. On hospital beds, I was making contact. On hospital beds, I was calling to see, you know, how can we book? What are your budgets? How can we get in a room with you guys? Or if you don't have a budget, what can we do to organize certain things to where Social Boss Empire is represented and we can be an asset to you? And uh, God just worked it out to where I'm, I'm really shocked at like just the shows. We're covering, thir well, 14 now. 14 plus shows in New York Fashion Week, industry, independent, and high level media shows. So I'm super, super, super excited about that. We're doing all the media and a lot of the content marketing. You guys, so this is my red heel. Okay, I'm gonna I'm show you guys the real, real. Look at this, look at that, look at this. So this shoe means a lot to me. Yes, I have big feet, okay. This shoe means a lot to me. I signed my first $20,000 deal in these shoes. I literally need these shoes, right? I'm just now getting them fixed to go to Fashion Week, but I have not got them fixed because when I signed that deal, I nearly fell, right? Just when I got the call about it, I was walking out of a building, I nearly fell and the heel came off and it was great, but it it's such, it's, I mean, it's important to me. That's symbolism to me. Every time I look at these shoes, I'm like, man, this is where it got started. Like, this is literally the first deal where I was like, you know what? This could work, like this could work. I encourage anybody that wants to do anything, not just what I do, but, anything you can't let anybody's opinion like steer you any kind of way you have to know that what you're doing is for you and know that you have purpose in that and don't let anybody deter you from that or inflict their fears onto what you're doing 